Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Pasquan, the art teacher at Martha Jones School. Today I want to share with you a project that's kind of fun to work on when the weather gets a little bit nicer and you want to spend some time outdoors. It's nice because it's super easy. All you need is some yarn, a pair of scissors, and a Y-shaped stick. So you actually have to start by going on a hike. Uh, excuse me, sir. That looks like a pretty good stick. Do you think I could borrow it for a project? Do you think I could borrow it? Yeah, thanks. To get started, you're going to tie your yarn to the bottom of the Y on your stick. So crisscross the end of the yarn to make a loop, stick the end through the loop, and pull. You're going to do that two times to make a square knot. So crisscross the yarn, put the end through the loop, and pull. I want you to pay attention to the fact that my yarn is still attached to the ball of yarn because I don't know how much I'm going to need yet. So I'm going to start wrapping, these are the warp strings, I'm going to start wrapping across the V part of the Y, and notice how I go across, I spiral up the stick a little bit, go across to the other side, spiral up the stick a little bit. I'm trying to make those lines as parallel as I can. I want them to be sort of close together, but not too close together, because I'm going to end up weaving in and out of those lines. Once you get to the end, you're going to tie another square knot and you should be good to go. This is the time when you can cut your yarn off of your ball of yarn, but make sure you don't cut that too short so that it's difficult to tie your knot. So crisscross the strings, pull the end of the string through the loop, and tighten it up. And you're going to do that two times to make your square knot. Crisscross the strings, wrap it around, pull the end through the loop, and pull. Now those strings are called the warp. The next step is going to be to add the weft. The weft is the string that you're going to weave in and out of your loom. So um, usually I cut this string, I stretch it out about as long as my arm stretched across my body. And you're just going to start weaving up and down, up and down, up and down. And when you get to the end, you're going to pull until that string is really short on one end. You don't even have to tie this on. You can tie a knot if it makes you feel better, but for the most part, you can just smush those over to the edge of your stick and you're good to go. Here's the important part. Once you get to the end, you have to wrap it around. So if you end it on top of that string, on your way back, you have to go under the string. So grab the end of that piece of yarn, and on the way back, you're gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over, all the way across your warp strings. When you get to the end and you pull, you have to be a little bit careful not to pull too tight or your strings will start to sort of bow together. So pull that string all the way until you run out of the loop at the end. And now you're ready to start going back in the other direction again. Pay attention to whether you ended over or under. This time I ended over and so on the way back, I gotta go under again. I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, all the way across. Again, you'll need to push those strings to the side and whenever you're ready, you can switch colors. You can also switch weaving techniques. On the one that I have finished, I wanna show you a little part where instead of weaving a single string, I actually wove two at a time, and you'll see that it makes a slightly different pattern. So now it's your turn. Go out and look for that perfect Y-shaped stick that speaks to you and get started. One of the fun things about this project is that nobody's is gonna look the same. The larger the stick you use, the more detail you'll be able to get, but it's also going to take you a lot longer. I hope that you'll share your work when you're finished, because I can't wait to see what you come up with.